Percents, part four. In today's lesson, students will calculate the price of an item when given the percent discount. When given the what? Percent discount. Very good. Before we begin, let me ask a question. Who likes to go shopping? Anybody like to go shopping? Okay. So when you go shopping, you like to look for things that are on sale, right? What does it mean if an item is on sale? If an item's on sale? It means the price, if something is on sale, it's less money, right? Yeah, they call that a discount. They call it a what? A discount. And a discount is in the form of a percentage. So what they do when, you, when an item goes on sale, they take a percent off. Yes? You've heard, you know, buy this video game. It's 40% off. Or the new clothes are 15% off, right? You hear that. Or use your Kohl's card and get 15% off. Do you hear that a lot? Okay. So you see in your real life, you need to know how to calculate percentages so that when you go shopping, you know how much money to bring with you, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and write now. So if you wanna find the price, go ahead and write price of an item with a percent discount, okay? Discount. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to make it really easy. Okay, Okay. so let's say you go to a store and you want to buy a used iPhone. Okay, so let's say the price of the iPhone is $100. Okay, it's used. The store really wants to get rid of it. They want to sell it to you. So they say, you know what? We're going to sell you that iPod for 25% off. 25% off. That's a great deal, right? Well, how much money is that iPhone actually going to cost you? Here's what you have to do, and it's very simple. First, you're going to change the percent. Remember, it's 25%, right? 25%. Change it to a decimal. And you do that by saying, well, if it's 25%, the decimal's really there, so we move it two places to the left. So move the decimal two places to the left. Or simply just put a decimal in front of 25, 0.25. Now why does that work? This is really talking about 25 hundredths. Now 25 hundredths, think about it. Okay, 2,500. 25 out of 100 is one quarter. One quarter. That's like one fourth. So you can either think to yourself, okay, well, what is 100 divided by 4? Right? If you take 100, you divide it in 4, you get a quarter. A quarter is 25 cents. So if you took off 25 cents or $25 from 100, that'd be 75. $75. Here's what I want you to do. Okay. After you change the percent to a decimal, 0.25. You're going to go ahead and take the price, which is $100. You're going to multiply by the decimal, 25 hundredths, 25 percent. You're going to get a price. What price do you think you're going to get? What is 25 percent of 100? Guess what it is. Huh? 25. See how that works? That's why it's good to use 100. Okay? So we multiply the price at the original price, which was $100, by the decimal. Okay? We did 100 times 0.25. That gave us $25. Well, the discount is $25. That's not what it's asking you. It's asking you, what are you going to pay for that iPhone? All right? So what you want to do now, if it's $25 off and the price is 100 what do you think you're going to do to 125 What are you going to do? You're going to, you're going to take it off, so you're going to subtract. You feeling me? Subtract. Subtract 
That answer, remember this is the discount, the discount is $25. Subtract it from the starting price or the original price. The starting price was $100. So now this part is you're going to subtract that answer from the starting price. What's the starting price? What's the starting price? How much is the iPhone? It's $100, right? So then you're going to go ahead and take off the discount by subtracting $25. How much will you pay for the iPhone? You're going to pay how much? $75. Now, here's where it gets tricky, all right? Because they're still going to tax you, but I'm not going to make you calculate the tax, okay? So they're still going to tax you on this, but you will pay before tax $75 with a discount. Go ahead and get that down. Okay, so I know that a lot of people in here like to play video games. Who likes to play video games? Everybody? Yeah, I know. You do it all day long instead of your homework and it rots your brain. However, when you're a grown-up and you want to start buying these video games on your own, you got to make sure you have enough money, right? So first do your homework, graduate high school, get a job, then you can buy your video games. And when you are ready, you're going to have to know how to calculate discounts. And here we go. If you want to buy a video game for $26, it says, oh, there's a discount, 40% off. How much is the video game? Ooh. Now, gave you a quiz a few days ago. You didn't do very well. I asked you to estimate. Estimate. 40%. Well, think about it. Is 40% close to 50%? Is it? Yeah. Okay. So if I say it's half off, what's half of 26 can we do that? Half of 26? Think about it. Half of 24, or 24 divided by 2 is 12. So 26 divided by 2 is what? What's 26 divided by 2? It's 13, right? So now this should be a little bit more than $13. Let's see if we're close. How do you do this? It says P to D. Change the percent to a decimal. How do you change 40% into a decimal? If we have 40%, how does that change into a decimal? It's very simple. It's very simple. Put a decimal in front of it and then put 40 because this is really talking about 40 hundredths. Remember 40% is really 40 over 100. Okay? All right. So there's the decimal. Now we're going to go ahead. That's step number one. Step number two is to multiply. Multiply. What are you multiplying? Well, you got to take $26. Multiply it by that percentage. 40%. First find, well, what is... 40% of 26. So let's do it in the calculator now. You ready? We have $26 times 40%, which is what is 40% of 26. That is 10.4. Now, a lot of people get confused with 10.4. They don't know what that means. I will go ahead and tell you that if you're talking about money and you see something like this, 10.4, okay, this is not talking about $10.04. It's not, because this is in the, ten the tenths place. You need to put a zero here and realize you're talking about $10.40, okay? So always put a zero at the end to make it hundredths so that you get your change. $10.40, that's the discount. If this is what you get off, you get 40% off, what do you have to do now to the price? What do you do to the price? Well, the price was $26, right? You think you're going to add it or subtract it from $10.40? $10.40. You're going to subtract. If you do this by hand, if you're talking about $26, it's 26 with a decimal and two zeros, right? If you subtract $10.40, you see how I lined up these decimals? Now, I'm not going to make you do this uh, by hand because you're not very good at subtraction, and that's okay. That's why you have a calculator. Here we go. We have $26 minus $10.40. We're going to take that discount off. And how much is the video game now? Ooh, it says 15.6. What does it say? 15.6. Now listen. 15.6. Well, what is that really talking about? $15.06 .06 or $15.60? Yes. So the price of the video game now is $15.60. Do you remember how I told you that the video game was going to be a little bit more than $13? Remember? 
because it's almost half off. So you see how I'm right? Yes. We always see how you're right, Ms. Gotran. Thank you. Get this down! Okay, read the last example with me. The last example ever, because this is my last video that I'll be doing this year. Yay! But so many of you are going to have me next year that you'll have more videos. Okay, number two. Let's say you want to buy shoes, and the shoes are $50. Okay, but they're on sale for 15% off. So that's a discount. Discounts, remember, you're going to subtract them. Okay, but you can't subtract first. How do you figure out what is 15% of 50? What's the first thing you do? Number one, change that percent into a decimal. All right, we have 15%. How do you change that into a decimal? Well, remember, the decimal's really right here, so you're moving it over two places. Just put a decimal in front of it, it becomes 15 hundredths. All you have to know is 15% is really talking about 15 over 100. 15 hundredths is 0.15. There you go. So we're going to use this number now to multiply. Number two, what's the price of the shoes? $50, right? We ask ourselves, well, what is 15% of 50? What do you put in your calculator? If you find 15% of 50, first you put 50, then you're going to multiply it by, what's 15% is a decimal? What is it? 0.15. Very good. Okay. So you get a nice value there 7.5. 7 and 5 tenths, or 7 and 5 hundredths. I'm going to write it like this, see if it makes sense. Seven dollars point five. What does that mean? Seven and a half, right? Well, what's half of a dollar? Half of a dollar is what? How many quarters? Fifty cents. So the discount is what? What is this? Say seven dollars. Say it. Seven dollars and fifty cents. Good. If that's the discount, we're going to take that off of the original price. What's the original price of the shoes? The original price of the shoes is how much? Fifty dollars. Now, if you're doing it by hand, which you don't have to, fifty dollars is fifty with no change. Fifty like this? Yeah. You guys know that? Okay. You're going to subtract seven point five or seven dollars and fifty cents. Make sense? Let's do that in our calculator now. We're going to take $50, just write 50, subtract $7.50. See it? Okay, what's our answer? Ah, 42.5. Our answer is 42.5. What does that mean? Remember, 0.5 is half of a dollar, so you're really talking about how many cents? How much? How much is half of a dollar? 50 cents. So how much will you pay for those shoes before taxes? You're going to pay $42.50. Go ahead and get that down.